What performs better, a cold battery or a hot battery? Here I have a Dynergy 1500 mAh 65C 4S battery. It's one I've used a few times, it's probably had 15 to 20 cycles through it, but it's been looked after and it still performs well. This is the battery I'll use for the test. For the test of battery temperature versus output, I'm going to be using one of these GemFan 5040 tri-blade props. They're a relatively new prop, they're a non ball nose type, and uh, this was the only tri-blade prop in my prop test that didn't exceed the current limiting capacity of the KISS ESC, which I believe is about 26 or 27 amps. So by using this I should ensure that I don't, uh, I don't tap out or reach the ceiling uh, of the ESC and I can adequately compare the difference between the batteries uh, at different temperatures. So the test will be done with a battery at 40 degrees Celsius or thereabouts, 20 degrees Celsius and 0 degrees Celsius. And this battery has been out in the sun for a few hours sitting on the pavers and uh, I think it's now been in the shade for a few minutes and it seems to have settled down with its uh, temperature so I'll just take a reading I'm looking for about uh, 40 degrees Celsius and it's coming in at 39.3 uh... okay this is the thrust test of the 40 degree Celsius battery I'm going to run it up to full RPM for 10 seconds three two one Here's the results from the first test at 40 degrees Celsius. Pause here if you like or wait till the end and we'll compare them all. I've put a mixture of tap water and cold fridge water in the sink here and uh, I've got a water temperature of about 18 degrees Celsius or just over. Now I'll take my battery, I've put it in a clear Ziploc lunch bag, taken the air out of it and I'll just sit that in the water now and let it chill down to 18 to 20 degrees Celsius ready for the next test. It's been in the water now for about an hour. The water's uh, increased to about 19. I have been topping it up with some cold along the way but the, uh, the battery pointing it at that it's measuring 18.8 look at the other side of it 18.7 so it's a little bit under 20 but uh, I'll leave it out now for a few minutes and then we'll give it a test. Now the thrust test of the 20 degrees Celsius battery the voltage is reading slightly higher, but it's had the same charge, maybe just because it's colder. Okay, here we go. Pause here for the results, or wait till the end for the big comparison. Now the battery's been in the freezer for an hour and in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Let's just see, I've been checking it regularly. I'm hoping it'll now measure and go measuring about two degrees Celsius, so it's close enough. Let's go and uh, see how it performs. The battery was charged before going in the freezer. Uh, it's reading 16.85 volts, so pretty similar to the previous. Uh, now the zero degrees Celsius test. Pause here for the zero Celsius results or keep watching and we'll start the big comparison. Here's the master table of results from all of the tests. Pause here or wait to see the graphs. And here's what you've all been waiting for, the thrust test graph. Clear to see that the 40 Celsius battery performed the best. It dropped about 5% thrust across the length of the green line there from the start to the 11th second. 
The orange line for 20 Celsius battery dropped about 7% from the left across to the 11th second on the right. The bottom line, the blue one for the 0 Celsius, uh, had the sharpest drop. It dropped about 9% uh, between the starting point at 1 second and the 11th second. So they, the difference between uh, the green and uh, orange at the start is about 5% but it diverges to about 7% at the end. Anyway, you can pause there if you want to see more, otherwise we go on to the power draw graph. And here the 40 Celsius battery has drawn more current or more watts, more watt, watts is a measure of uh, volts times amps, so although it produced more thrust, it did draw more watts or more power out of the battery to achieve it. And once again, fairly linear results here. Um, so I'll leave you to pause it if you want to take a further look. Otherwise, we'll go on to the final graph, the efficiency graph. Now keep in mind the scale of this graph, so all of these graphs, I've cut the bottom out of them. So really the difference between the results here is, um, is sort of only uh, 0.2 of a gram per watt. So it's fairly small. But interestingly, the coldest battery, 0 Celsius, was the most efficient. The other two were neck and neck uh, along there with the green and orange lines. If you liked what you've uh, learnt today, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.